The question is, was Dune Part 2 better than Dune Part 1? Now, most people have been saying yes, but I'm going to come up with a spicy take here. No. no. I don't think it was as good a complete story as Part 1. I think the pacing of Part 1 was significantly better. I think the acting in general has been very, very good. Mm -hmm. And the story they told in Part 2 was so dense, I'm kind of surprised they got through so much but the pacing just wasn't good enough. Yeah, there was a sag in the middle, mm -hmm. and I think some people felt it. It did pick up after about the hour and a half point, mm. but during that half an hour, between one hour and hour and a half, things really lulled, and I think people really had to pay attention to what was going on in the story. And I think the lighting didn't help in certain shots. When you got to about an hour, an hour and a half through, there were very large instances of dark screens and badly lit shots for the purpose of the story and the scenes. But I don't think that helped with the feel of the pacing. But I do feel that they jumped from scene to scene very seamlessly. It wasn't like they really accelerated the speed of the story unnecessarily. It felt like they earned a lot of the time they took, but I feel like it just wasn't cut together as well as the first one. Yeah, the first one did get through a lot, but this one was definitely thicker, it mm -hmm. was denser. I will say the acting really did shine. There were so many great faces, so many great performances. And I think Austin Butler, I think when I rewatch, he's gonna be the stand-up for me. I don't think so. I think I'm going to look at it more and more and be more annoyed by what he's doing. Oh, really? Because it was just a bit too campy. It was a bit too extra mm -hmm. from him versus almost anyone else. I believed everyone apart from him. But even him, 90% of the time I was on board and then occasionally I was like, I don't buy that line you just said. See, I think that's the flair I'm going to come back to. Oh, you're going to like that flair? I think so. You're going to like that 10% of a bit of randomness? Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it, I get it. I just think that in the end, Denis Villeneuve has made something that most people didn't think was possible. In the time, with the money, and it ended in a way which was part three. Is it happening? Yes. When is it happening? I don't know. But if this makes money, and I think it's going to make money, I'm saying 700 milli. Yeah. What are you thinking? I think it could hit 800. 800? I think so. The first one made like four. 400 was the cap, and it was during the lockdown, so there's a reason why it underperformed potentially. But it's just surprising when you look at the money side of things that this thing opening weekend is looking like 80 to 90 million. The question is, and this is a big one, is it making a billion? Ooh, maybe. 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 It seems unrealistic, to be honest. Two and a half times the original box office seems like it's too far of a stretch. But there's nothing else like this in cinema mm -hmm. for a long time. And in terms of sci-fi, in terms of drama, in terms of action, this is just incredibly well-told story, and the visuals are stunning. I guess the only thing that I was surprised at was there were actually half a dozen moments of comedy yeah. in this movie, which seemed unrealistic. I thought, you add comedy to this, it's gonna just completely pull you out of the movie. But they managed to do it. 